Hello everyone, Nasibs here and today I will show you how to put a white border around a cutout that you will do with me with using GIMP for your thumbnails and any other usage that you might find. So how do you do it? Well let's open GIMP and as you can see my GIMP is open already um, and I'm gonna take this picture just for the thumbnail for this video and for the tutorial. So. Let's go on full screen and I'm gonna actually um, zoom in a little bit better so that you can see a little bit better what I'm doing here. Okay, so this picture is gonna be the one that I'm gonna take. I'm gonna try to cut out myself from the background and add a white border around for myself. So how do we do it? We take the scissor tool, it's intelligent edging tool. So let's see, edge cutting tool, let's see how it works. So as you can see it pretty much cuts to... Um, how it thinks that it, the border is. Here we have, you know, the seat belt, so it's gonna be a little bit more manual here. But when you add it here, it's gonna try to, like here, there is a mistake. We're gonna actually, we can actually uh, fix it on later. But you can see that no, usually it will be pretty good. Like here, you know, it's black and it's different color here, so it's gonna pretty much cut out, out nicely. All the way to, you know, you, you, even the hair is cut out, so it's pretty nice. So. I'm gonna quickly cut it out for you guys and let's see how this looks so as you can see it's not that bad actually I mean you can go and try to do it all by hand but I think it's not really worth it uh, you know if you really need to that's no problem but if you don't have that much time or you just don't feel like cutting everything you know like especially hair or like all these parts here if you were to like here we're gonna have to fix it again um, but if you were to do it by hand, like all the hair, I think it's just not that worth it. I usually used to do it with um, Sony Vegas, which was really killing me. And then I never knew how to add the white border thing around me because it usually failed whenever I tried to do something. And I found this easy way here with GIMP that you just pretty much... I'm sorry for the clickiness because that's gonna be my mouse here. But uh, once we were done like this, we're gonna go into like the corner so that it connects it all. And then we have this, as you can see it's over. And then we can add whenever we saw there was a mistake. For example, like right here, we can move it a little bit like there. And it's gonna try to readjust once again to fit what we missed. I think we missed one more thing here. Oh yeah, the hair here. So we're gonna add it and then we can move it. It's gonna try to readjust. So now that we have it, I guess it's pretty bad. It's pretty good. It's not that bad. Um, I think we have everything. We can actually adjust a little bit here. See how it works. And okay, so we have it somehow done. Um, what do we do now? As you can see on the middle, uh, by my mouse, there's this cutout, and then there is this thing. I don't know the six dots kind of thing. If you click on it, like you know, right, uh, left click. It's gonna select what we cut out. So as you can see, it's pretty much what we cut out. So it's me. What do you want to do now? Is actually before I, I kind of made a mistake. Uh, you should actually um, go into layer and transparent at alpha layer. That way, there should be alpha layer behind everything. I hope it's gonna be behind everything because if it's not. Yeah, it's probably it probably is so what you want to do is actually because we have selected myself we don't want to cut ourselves so we're gonna go into select invert so that now we have everything selected but myself and then easiest way edit clear it should work like you know you have a transparent background now what do we do next next up we wanted to have a white border around myself like you know the thumbnails usually add Okay, so how do we do it? Um, we go and actually we have to invert again so that it's selected on me and not the things around me. So we want, you know, the border that we have here to be a little bit farther off so that we can actually have the bo the white border thingy. So now we're gonna add, um, actually we're gonna add it or not add it, select and grow how uh, you know 15 pixels are gonna be actually really good for this so with 15 pixels uh, as you can see there's a little gap between me and the cutout so what we can do is actually add a new layer and just put a white layer and have it below me 
So how do we gonna do it now? Well, we have selected ourselves, so just same thing again. Select, invert, so now we have selected once again the things that are behind the selected, you know, like the white that is not inside, the one that is outside. And once again, we can do the same thing, clear. And now you can see we have the border with me in the whiteout. So this is kind of like you do for the, you know, people do for, uh, you know, thumbnails and everything, where they have themselves and the white border around them and a transparent background so they can easily edit. So now, how do you finish this up? So we were done with the cutting and everything, export as, and then here is one thing that I always change. So I'm going to change the name, like usually, I don't know, cut out. And then instead of J, uh, JPEG, if it's, I don't even know if it's JPEG, but JPEG to PNG. That way it's going to be actually much better. Now when you export, um, you want to save background color so that it doesn't save the white or anything. And export. Let's see how it cuts out. And when we're done, I'm gonna show you on Sony Vegas how this works. I'm just gonna place it somewhere. Okay, so let's go. And it should be here. As you can see, we have it cut out. Here you will see that it's black, but that's because that's how transparent works, because it's normally black. But you can see here that it's cut out nicely. And just to make sure that it's really nicely cut out, I'm gonna use any of those pictures just as a background. I'm gonna um, put on Sony Vegas, like the way I actually edit, and then take, I don't know, once again this picture, just to show you, but I'm gonna make it so it's visible that it's something else, like, I don't know, like this. And as you can see right now, I'm actually nicely cut out. The white, you know, as you can see, it's, you know, we had the white uh, line around me, and I'm nicely cut out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this short tutorial, how to make a nice cutout. I hope you guys actually use it in your videos, because I've seen a lot of people using it, but I've never actually seen a tutorial that really nicely showed how you do it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys think, and comment down if there's anything else you would like to know how to do. So, I'm Night Saves, and I'll see you. Later. See